Hi, welcome to my video of the Fantasy F-18 Super Hornet. This one is the EDF version. It has a 50 millimeter EDF band. Take a look here and you can kind of see it. This is a, basically the same plane as I, I did with my, uh, with the mid propeller plane. So, you know, I tweaked a few things, tried to simplify the fuselage up a little bit. And, um, wanted, it's a little, I think it's a bit more streamlined with the EDF. So maybe it'll be faster. I don't know. Take a look at the EDF down the back. So that's about a 90% of the fan swept area. Hopefully that's enough thrust. I'm sure it's enough thrust. This thing will move if I just give it some. Oh, that's half throttle. So it's got vertical, vertical performance. Hopefully it'll be with a little bit more streamlining. It might be a little faster than the than this one here, although this one screams on success. And I took took the wingtip things off to try to make it a little bit uh, less drag. So we will see. This is the hatch here. It's got plenty of room in there. Got a 40 amp ESC and a 1,000 milliamp hour battery. And what else? So looking at the bottom, again, it's a little bit more streamlined. So I need to change the thrust tube here, and I can do that versus, versus this one here, which uh, it's got a lot of miles on this one at this point. Um, I will, I have some of the beat, uh, build details. This is a prototype. There's still things I would tweak on this one if I, uh, you know, if I put plans together for it, dedicated plans together for it. Um, mostly in this area, I would just, these are added panels here and I would just make them part of the wing. I don't need the, I don't need the room above here to see on this one here. I've got to work with this engine mount and all that kind of stuff. So that's why that's so wide here. I don't really need it. So um, take a look at the description if you're interested in the details. And I'll put some links to the other videos and the one that has the, the way to get plans if you're interested, at least for the plans for this one. I don't have plans for this one. This is the motor mount for the 50 millimeter EDF. And then here it is built and in the bottom part. I modified the, uh, the nose here, really just in the back, shorten up the, um, the verticals and on the top I had to make several changes including a big cutout for the uh, thrust tube and a couple of notches for that motor mount that we installed earlier and so here's the, the thrust tube and here's the top Here is the bottom, the motor. I'm gonna glue it in in just a second, but that's where it goes. Then I will glue in the top. This is a baffle to streamline the intake to the motor. I hope, I don't know if it will make a difference, but I thought I'd put it in there while I can before the top goes on. These are the wings. Here are the wings uh, ready to be folded, glued over with the spar 
installed. The, only, the modification to the wing is I added this section. I just went straight back and I extended this trailing edge of the wing all the way back. Um, and then on the bottom side, I, this was more mod modifications. I just cut out, this is where the, the tail fin uh, kind of lines up. Actually, it's the tail fins right about there. But I just took out some of the weight here and then I used the top, cut out in the top to modify the, um, the bottom of the wing so that they would match. Same with, and then I just cut that spar out after gluing it to the wing to match. And let's see, so the other side. So it looks like on the other side. So ready to fold. Here the tail's been installed. And I've also installed the servos. Now they have to be installed prior to the wing since I'm gluing the wing down. Here it is with the wing installed. I just put a little glue uh, right along that seam there and in the front and the other side. So, see how that goes.